Welcome to this demonstration of Gene Analytics. Gene Analytics is a powerful, easy to use gene set analysis tool that brings expression and functional context to your gene set. This case demonstrates how Gene Analytics can be used in drug discovery. We will use a gene set associated with retinitis pigmentosa to identify cells associated with the disease, disease mechanisms, and potential drug leads. Retinitis pigmentosa is an inherited degenerative eye disease characterized by the progressive loss of photoreceptor cells that can eventually lead to blindness. Currently, there is no approved drug treatment for retinitis pigmentosa, though disease progression can be attenuated by daily vitamin A intake according to some studies. In this analysis, we will use a gene set from Malacards, the human disease database. We'll start our analysis by selecting the input species, which is human in this case. We then copy the list of genes into Gene Analytics. Let's click on Analyze to get the matching results. The results are divided into several sections. Expression-based analysis of matched tissues and cells, and function-based analysis of matched diseases, pathways, gene ontology terms, and compounds. Each section presents entities scored and ranked by their degree of matching to the gene set provided, as well as hyperlinks to the evidence-based data sources, a list of matched genes per entity, and valuable filters. The first goal of this analysis is to quickly identify cells associated with the disease. The first section presents tissues and cell results. The detail table on the right shows the matched entities, a list of matched genes, and tissue annotations. Here we can clearly see that mature rod cells in the eye is the highest matched entity. These cells are photoreceptors, light sensory neurons that contain the visual pigment rhodopsin. Rod cells are indeed the primary cells affected by retinitis pigmentosa and therefore express many genes that match the analyzed gene set. Clicking on the number on the right opens the list of matched genes that are expressed in the rod cells. These genes are interesting for further evaluation of their functionality and as potential drug targets for retinitis pigmentosa. We can now narrow the search and run a new query with this focus list. The new query will run on the set of genes associated with retinitis pigmentosa and matched to rod cells. After running the new analysis, let's take a look at pathway results. This section provides further understanding of the roles of these genes in health and disease. The provided information lists pathways matching the gene set, including the phototransduction cascade, diseases associated with visual transduction, and the visual cycle in the retinal rods. The list of genes involved in each pathway is available by clicking on the number of matched genes. Each pathway is also linked to its relevant card in PathCards, a novel integrated pathway database which unifies pathways from multiple data sources based on their overlapping related genes. The Gene Ontology section provides results and additional information about biological processes and molecular functions associated with its gene set. In the Biological Processes section, we note a high matching to visual perception, phototransduction, rhodopsin-mediated signaling, and more. You can learn about the genes involved in each process by clicking on the number of matched genes. The Molecular Function section results highlights the impaired molecular functions in the damaged rod cells that are affected by retinitis pigmentosa, such as phosphodiesterase activity and CGMP binding. These results are in line with reports of mutations in phosphodiesterases demonstrated to be one of the causes of autosomal recessive retinitis pigmentosa. Phosphodiesterases are important regulators of signal transduction mediated by cyclic GMP and cyclic AMP. Cyclic GMPs are highly ranked in the compounds results, which can be explained by the elevated levels of retinal cyclic GMPs in case of mutated or downregulated phosphodiesterases. Metarhodopsin is known to activate the associated G-protein signal transduction and triggers CGMP cascade. These results provide insight into the mechanisms underlying retinitis pigmentosa and suggest potential therapeutic approaches such as reducing cyclic GMP levels or inducing phosphodiesterase activity. Such approaches may lead to rod cell survival and improvement of retinal function in rod cells affected by retinitis pigmentosa. As expected, vitamin A also appears in the compounds list as a common supplement administered to treat retinitis pigmentosa. 
This case demonstrates how gene analytics can be used to provide a rapid and simple means of assessing a disease-related gene set and identifying relevant therapeutic avenues. Gene analytics can help save you time by providing high-quality information that facilitates novel discoveries and helps test your hypotheses. Thank you for viewing this demonstration of gene analytics. Register now and start analyzing your gene sets at geneanalytics.com. Feel free to contact us at support at lifemapsc.com with any questions you may have. We invite you to watch more of our videos about gene analytics and life of discovery on our YouTube channel.